Hello. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to use a powerful tool that is often used here in Temple ISD. You may have used this back in elementary school, here in middle school, and I guarantee you, you will use it in high school. The powerful tool that I'm referring to is Screencastify. Screencastify does a lot of things to really enhance what you're recording. Recording is a very important part in today's society. Videos do so much in getting out to the public and it shows your level of expertise and knowledge. So take, take time and make sure you prepare yourself and think carefully about what you're doing for this and what you're trying to present to the public. There are a lot of people that make a lot of money from home just doing simple videos. You could be one of those people if that's what you wanted to do. First off, what we're talking about is an app called Screencastify. And I'm not sure that you're going to be able to see it right here, but there is Screencastify webcam preview. Also, right up here, there's a little extension that you can download into your web, uh, your web browser that's called Screencastify. If you do not have that already, I recommend that you go ahead and download that extension because you're going to be using this for several of our assignments before we move on and start using the next one, which is called We Video. It's got a little arrow, but it also has a picture of a camera in it. Looking up here at my desktop, you can see that it's got a red dot on it because I'm recording with this right now. So as I showed you that earlier, we were using the webcam that is built into and part of the Chrome OS. We're now going to take it to Screencastify, which is a step up and has a lot more options. The one advantage is with the webcam that comes as part of the OS, all you can do is see what the camera up here at the top of your screen sees. However, with Screencastify, I can show you myself here, but also I can show you what I'm doing here on my desktop. This is a powerful tool for education. It's a powerful tool when you're trying to do a how-to or show someone, especially in gaming. If you're really wanting to do something for gaming, video games, this is a powerful tool. It can do, do a lot for you. The public really likes to be able to see who is doing the instructions. And to do that, they, that's what this will allow. So please keep in mind on that and think about it. What I want to do now is show you some of the tools that are within Screencastify. You can tell right now it says, because I've clicked up here, it says that the desktop is being recorded. I could turn it off. I could do an auto stop. But this is what's going on while it's recording. And we'll look up here at the menu. Now, this is where I can go back and look at some of my previous recordings. I can check on my prescription, in my subscription, excuse me. Subscription is where if I'm, I get more buttons, bells, and whistles, if it's a paid version. We have a license that the school district has purchased for teachers and students. So even as a student, you can do more through the school district than you could if you set up your own private account. This shows all my recordings, the different things that I've done over the years of working with Screencastify. And then over here, the options. Now, the options are very important. You really need to make sure you pay close attention to this. In your options, it says right here, Google Drive recommended. This will create a folder and save your videos in Google Drive. You really want to do that. The Chrome base and the Chrome books have very, very small amount of storage on them. If you use your local drive, you're going to use up that storage really quick and you're going to have difficulties. Whereas by putting it out there in your Google Drive, not only do you have a lot more storage, so you're not going to use it up as quickly, but the other advantage is it follows you around. So you might be able to work from one Chrome base to another Chrome base to a Chromebook laptop and then work on it at home. So you have a lot more options and flexibility. Notifications, background tab recording, show during the tab recording, 
drive upload progress, you really want to be able to see how much progress you have. P please make sure as you're doing this, don't wait till the last two minutes of class to try to do the recording and save it. It takes several minutes to save what you're doing. And the same with the edit editing progress. It takes a lot of time. You need to give yourself a minimum of five to 10 minutes to process what you're doing. And with our network being so slow lately, you, could, you might even need more time than that. Don't wait to the end of class to try to do this. You can set up some keyboard shortcuts. These are some settings. I really encourage you to leave this alone, but pay attention to what you can do. You may want to go in there, for example, on low disk space. Yeah, you don't want it to sit there and halfway through suddenly cut you out because you ran out of disk space. Pay attention. Report anonymous usage. I leave that alone. You don't need to worry about that. Optimize mic audio for voice. We're using the built-in recorder that's on the Chrome base or the Chrome book. You will not need to use an external mic. And then ed enable single application recording. This is again where I could just have where you can only see one tab or act, uh, when I'm working on this, even though I could open up five or six. We'll go over more about that later. This is a start. I want to show you a lot more about Screencastify here shortly, but this is the beginning, so pay close attention. If you have any questions, please let me know.